Welcome to another Lucky 44 tutorial. Uh, this is the one of the final ones. I think it's going to probably take me two more to cover everything I want to cover on spawning units uh, via scripting and triggers. This one we're going to pick up where we left off. In our last uh, tutorial I used this trigger to call a script, to fire a script, to execute a script named spawn squad load into truck 2. Don't worry, that's eventually where we're going is we're going to load them into a truck. Um, and it was detected when a civilian crossed into this 3x3 three three area. Uh, and here it is. So here's my civilian, he crosses into here, and that script tells him to spawn, tells the group to spawn at this spawn point. That's all well and good, but now we want to take it to the next level and send that group onto a set of waypoints to have them move around. So I've added a set of waypoints, which I have creatively called WP1A, WP1B, and WP1C. Okay, let's go take a look at the script. All right, back on the desktop, here's the script basically that I used before to spawn the squad. Um, I give it a squad name, I tell it where to spawn the group. It's going to be an east unit or an east group. That's the side. And then I use the config file method to tell it to spawn an east and specifically Taxtani Army infantry group. And that's going to be a TK infantry squad. And then I use the biscall function to start it. That's just like before. Before I go into any more detail on the script, I want to point out a couple resources on the web and I, I will put this text so you can just copy and paste it into the uh, notes on the YouTube post. But here they are. The, here are three key resources that every scripter needs to know. And they are the Armaholic website, which has file sharing, forums, help, etc. And the Bohemia Interactive forum on Arma 2 editing, which is this specific um, forum. Uh, for both of those, let me just m warn anybody who's new to forums. Don't just ask a question when you have it. Search before you ask the question, because odds are good that somebody else, probably three or four people, have asked similar questions and already gotten answers. But those are good places to go, and people are friendly and helpful if you're polite and helpful. Um, and the third one is the BIS wiki, which I mentioned in a previous tutorial um, that allows you to search for specific terms like join or add waypoint or dysfunction spawn group. And lastly, here's a Google Doc that I've put together with a bunch of links um, that are helpful. So take a look at that. Okay, um, let's go look at the BIS wiki and look at the add waypoint command. Um, this is just what it says. It creates a waypoint that wasn't there on the map, that you didn't place. And the syntax is explained here, sort of explained. It's a little, I'll, I'll go into the uh, editor and show you, actually, sorry, I'll go into the Arma edit and explain that a little more. Down here, very helpful, the bottom of the page, the C also gets into a lot of other details that you can get into. You can set the waypoint behavior. Notice that's spelled with a hue for you Americans. Set waypoint combat mode, set waypoint completion radius, set waypoint description, etc., etc., etc. This gives you all the control you want over the waypoint by using those commands. Uh, okay, let's go back to the script. So now I'm going to add waypoints. I already said that I created waypoint markers named waypoint 1A, waypoint 1B, and so on. So here's how we do it. This section right here is adding the first waypoint. And I'm going to call it underscore waypoint 1, again using the local variable by putting the underscore in front of it. Uh, and I'm going to define it like this. It's going to be a waypoint for the group squad 1, and then I use the term add waypoint, and then I give it details. Where is it going to be? It's going to be get marker position waypoint 1A, notice quotation marks, in parentheses, comma, 
and then this is going to be the radius just like you'd set in the editor for a waypoint uh, give it some randomization or not I'm gonna put these on a street so I don't want them to have any randomness to where the waypoint is and that's it and you'll remember that anything with the double slashes is a comment and it shows up in Arma edit as green that tells you it's just information for people using the script it doesn't get processed next step I'm going to set the waypoint type. Pretty straightforward, the name of the waypoint, set waypoint type, and then the type. And you can look up in the, the wiki waypoint types, but you'll probably know them from the editor already. Move, uh, load, uh, search and destroy, that sort of thing. Uh, cycle. And then the third thing that I'm going to do is required, and that's set waypoint statements. And there are two elements in this array. The first one says true, and that's the condition under which the waypoint will be used. So I just want it to happen all the time, so my condition is just true. It's forcing it to happen. Second one I'm not going to use, so I put the quotation marks in to say nothing's going to be in there. That's it. That creates my waypoint and sets it up. There are a lot more detailed things I can go into, as I explained. Uh, using I can set uh, the speed I can set the timeout etc etc um, but I'm gonna keep it simple and just set the I'm gonna create the waypoint set the type and then tell it this is always gonna happen and then I'm gonna go on and do that for another waypoint uh, it's gonna be the same thing it's just using a different marker on the map for its location and then the third one is going to be slightly different. It's going to use the, the third marker that I put, but this one's going to be a seek and destroy, or search and destroy. And if you're not familiar with that, that's a real useful way to give it a semi-random set of waypoints that it will patrol around looking for hostiles. And that's it. That's, whoops, cheating. That's my script to spawn the group and send it on their waypoints. Let's take a look at what that looks like. Okay, back on the map, it, my group is going to spawn at this point. They're going to move to the first waypoint at this marker. Then they're going to move to the second waypoint at that marker. Then they're going to begin a seek and destroy series at the third marker. Let's take a look. Okay, here's my good doctor, and I run him into the trigger. My group spawns and immediately they start moving down the road to the first waypoint and they're trying to get into formation and by default they go at the normal speed which is the uh, jog looks like they already moved through two waypoints and now they're turning off the road to the third waypoint and they're going to begin their seek and destroy where they patrol in a somewhat random uh, method. I believe they actually create five waypoints in a certain radius and patrol around them. Okay, so that's all well and good. That's great. Um, I can have as many waypoints created as, as I want. I can just create a huge chain of markers and have them move around and do different things. I can set timeouts, etc. Um, let's move on to adding a vehicle for them to travel in, though. 